What's good, Popper fans? It's Brian Cook, and today we're playing Twiddle Storm. This is not the first time that I've played Twiddle Storm on this channel. There's tons of videos if you're interested in it. Definitely go check those out. But I'll do a brief overview of the deck before I get into the nitty gritty about what's specific about the deck list that we're playing tonight. So the idea behind Twiddle Storm is that you're going to win by decking your opponent with Stream of Thought. Well, Stream of Thought plays a, a multi-axis role in this deck because not only is it your win condition, it's also one of your primary engines. By that, I mean you can target yourself to get your deck lower on cards because that's what this deck wants to do. You want to get to a really low number of cards, and then you want to put arcane spells back into your deck, and you want to get to the point where you're just looping arcane spells over and over again. Well, how do you get all the mana for that? That's a really good question. So you have these seven Karoo effects in your deck. I'm talking about Is It Boiler Works and then Simic Growth Chamber. So these lands tap for two mana. This goes all the way back to Mirage where they were called Karoos. So you have these lands and then you put a Dawn's Reflection or a Market Festival on top of them. So that way the lands tap for four mana. Well, once they tap for four mana, you can cast Arcane Spells such as Peer Through Depths and then Ideas Inbound while splicing onto them Psychic Puppetry. So the effect of this spell will cost three, and then you can untap your crew land with a Market Festival on it. So you've generated one mana, and you got to cast Peer Through Depths and or Ideas Inbound for free, plus one mana. Pretty good. So you do this over and over again. You keep on finding your Peer Through Depths, your Ideas Inbound. You put these effects back in your deck with Stream of Thought until your deck gets down to about 10 cards. And now you're looping pure three depths and ideas amount over and over and by then your your land that taps for a bunch of mana will tap for more mana because you put more of these enchantments on it so eventually you cast stream without targeting your opponent you replicated a bunch and deck them that's the idea so the last time that i played this deck i was running no copies of muddle the mixture because a three mana tutor to get ideas amount was kind of expensive and i was running four ponder and then it was the first time i've ever ran four merchant scroll and merchant scroll really impressed me i liked it a lot so i'm still running four of that today but i felt the loss of muddle the mixture and not being able to just tutor four ideas inbound on command so i started thinking about this deck more and more in the last month or so since i last recorded with that deck and i realized that there's a few times in that league where i cast ponder and i just bricked and lost the game it sucks it happens i completely get it but what if I didn't have to brick anymore? What if I just ran eight tutors for my eight arcane spells? So we have eight arcane spells between ideas and peer, and then with Muddle the Mixture and Merchant Scroll, I have eight tutors for those eight effects. So now we have 16 hits in our deck, which increases your odds quite a bit. But the problem is that these tutors cost extra mana, right? So I was thinking about the deck and you usually want some sort of way to speed it up. In the past, I've played Arboreal Grazer, Explorer, Dreamscript, but something that I've never ever done is play Dreamscript and Twiddle in this deck, mostly because there's not enough space. But on top of that, you don't want to fizzle by drawing too many Twiddle effects. That's a fear that everyone has when they play this deck, because if you have cards in your deck that don't draw cards, you're likely to fizzle. I completely get that. Hear me out. So. Twiddle effects speed you up because on turn one, you play your land. On turn two, you play your crew land. On turn three, you replay your basic, and now you have three mana. If you twiddle your crew land, you can go up to four mana, which means that you can play the, your four mana enchantment on turn three, and then you can untap on turn four and win the game. That's really sweet. So that's one reason to play it. Another reason to play it is mid combo. You can tap your land for a bunch of mana, untap it with one of these twiddle effects and then put another enchantment on it so that way when you go to peer through depths or ideas amount you're untapping that land with another enchantment on it and now that land taps for more mana throughout the turn you generate more mana that way so that's really sweet so one of the big things that i like about these twiddle effects is that you can twiddle your dawn's reflection land mid combo and that's essentially the mana that you need for merchant scroll or muddle the mixture so you're essentially trading a twiddle for the mana to be able to tutor. And I think that's really powerful. On top of that, late game, or mid combo to late combo, I guess I'll say, you're trying to build up mana for stream of thought, 
But if you have seven twiddles in your deck, you won't necessarily need to go all the way down to five cards. You might be able to win the game at 20 cards now instead of needing to go all the way down to five. So it will make your combo faster and it might actually reduce the fizzle rate, which is something that I'm interested in seeing. The last reason to play seven or eight twiddles is that you can actually tap down your opponent on their end step on tapping when the game versus blue decks. So it gives you some built-in protection that's also good during your combo turn. So the, the ideas are sound here to me, and now it's just time to see if they work in practice. So seven twiddles is what I'm about. You can also search for a twiddle effect with Merchant Scroll to make a mana mid combo. So if you need four mana, Merchant Scroll for a twiddle will make, um, I guess if you need five mana, because no, you can do it with four, my bad, ignore me, um, because it would then untap. So yeah, you can do it with four mana. And then eventually, if you haven't figured it out, you target your opponent with deep analysis and end the game. So that's what we've got going on. There's also a built-in uh, like uh, doomsday pile, we call it, where if you can't deck your opponent with stream of thought, but you can deck yourself, what you do is you can build a pseudo doomsday pile by milling yourself until you hit deep analysis, and then use deep analysis to target yourself into the final four cards that would then win the game, uh, which seems pretty cool to me. Um, I think that covers it. In the sideboard, I guess, uh, I'm going back to playing the Red Splash. In the previous video, I wasn't running Pyroblast, but when you have Merchant Scroll, I think you really only need the one copy of Giga Draws. I don't think you need to be playing three. Blink of an Eye is an, an instant, which means that you can get it with Merchant Scroll, but it also cast two, so you can get it with Muddle the Mixture. This is primarily to bounce Graveyard Hate, because you do need to win the game by re reoccurring Stream of Thought over and over. So I think one bounce effect is kind of nice, but you can usually tap those down as well with Twiddles. But I think one Blink is like sort of free to run. Prohibit, same thing. You have eight tutors to get one counter spell. It's just sort of a freebie. And then these green cards are for Bogles and Burn. That's the deck tech. I've been talking long enough, and I'm sure I'm sure you're sick of hearing me talk. Um, my mouth is getting really dry too. It's hot today. But thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Let's start twiddle storming. I almost said cycle there. We are playing twiddle today. I'll see you in the first round. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Line, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to the first match. One thing to know about this deck is it takes a really long time to win, so you have to play fast. So we have a crew land, we have a land of bounce. The only thing we're missing is an enchantment. I'm going to keep this. Okay. 
Opponent's taking a mulligan to five already. Jeez. All right. I'm just going to hit the F6 key, so that way I'm not wasting time on the opponent's turn. They're on Affinity. We're just going to go grab our island here. Pass the turn. F6 equity. I'm not trying to waste any seconds on the clock. All right. Preordain. You got it. And Blood Fountain. Okay, so I'm going to cycle this in my upkeep, thin my deck a little bit. Let's just grab the island. Draw. Another puppetry. We're just going to play this now, bounce the island. And I'm actually going to discard a puppetry. I don't need two of those. You could have discarded the deep analysis, but I actually plan on hard casting this. So I don't want to uh, get rid of it quite yet. Pick your wellspring. We're really, really hoping to draw uh, one of the four mana enchantments this turn, so that way we can get it on our Simic Growth Chamber right now. We did not. So I'm going to burn a Twiddle here, untap this, and hard cast Deep Analysis. Yes, untap, tap again, target myself with Deep, pass the turn. And we hit the four mana enchantment. We're in a decent spot here. The only way we I can try to win on my turn is if I draw another twiddle effect. So I could untap the Simic Growth Chamber next turn, but I would only have one blue floating. So there's no point to casting Brainstorm or whatever if I'm not going to win. But if I draw a twiddle effect, I can cast Ideas in Mound, maybe get that train rolling. One blue... They've played a bargain, so they've undone some of their mulligans already. It's interesting to see Affinity playing Preordain. Okay. Chromatic Star, Mirror Enforcer. And they're passing. Draw. That was a good one. We just have to uh, be able to untap now. Pass the turn. And then on our turn, it's go time. I get really nervous when I play this deck because every round is a race against the clock. You cannot afford to sit there not hitting the F6 key, wasting time on your opponent's turn. It's, it really, really stresses me out, but it's also fun. It's a weird way to describe it. Okay. So tap for a bunch of mana. Let's stretch this down. All right, untap. One of the nice things is when you're playing the crew version of this deck, if you get double psychic puppetry, you can untap two crews on each one. Double puppetry cannot untap the same land twice with when you splice them both onto the same arcane spell because you never get priority to tap and retap. That's something that comes up a lot in the videos is people say, why didn't you double splice puppetry and then untap that land twice it doesn't work that way so you have to have two crews in play for double puppetry to matter opponent thinking long and hard about this ideas inbound okay another crew land tap this for mana blue 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 ideas inbound psychic puppetry and you'll notice here, I made a green mana. So every time you untap this land, you get a little bit more mana out of it. So now I'm going to play a market festival. And now you'll notice that this land now taps for six. Okay, so six mana coming up. Let's brainstorm. We don't have another arcane spell here, but I did hit a merchant scroll. I'm going to put back the island because I can always search for it again later. Put back a Karoo land. Use the Merchant Scroll. And with this, we can go get a Peer Through Depths. Okay. I'm going to untap this Semi Growth Chamber. I'd hate to lose to a main deck spell, Piers. 
Okay, tap again. Whoops, I did not mean to make white mana undo. All right. I'm going to brainstorm because I can use the pier to clear a couple of these lands. And I hit lands anyway. All right, uh, we'll put those back. Untap. I'm going to leave a green floating because it allows me to put the Dawn's Reflection on the land after. And then the reason I'm not doing it first is I'm trying not to lose the spell piers here. I'll gladly take an Ideas and Mound. Any order? Yes. Put that land on here. Or put this enchantment on this land, I meant. My bad. Misspoke. Okay, so we're going to tap this for a bunch of mana. And I'm going to stream a thought myself here. And I'm not going to replicate because, once again, I'm not trying to lose the spell pierce at the moment. And I'm going to put back Ideas and Bound, Ideas and Bound, Peer Through Depths, and then maybe one other card. It depends on what we mill. Really? That's the card you go after there? Okay. Um, you got it. So let's Ideas. Um, oh no, I, I just misclicked. I messed up. Um, it's not the end of the world. I definitely just messed up, though. I was trying to cancel, and I didn't untap my land. We'll be okay. Uh, grab ideas and mount. This time I'm actually going to do it correctly. My bad. I definitely just lost 8 mana for no reason. Tap this for mana. Brainstorm, convert some of these lands, hopefully. There we go, look at that. Okay, let's thin our deck. Actually, no. I'm gonna upgrade my land. Pier, puppetry, so now our land taps for 10 mana. Gladly take a stream of thought. Any order, yes, untap. Tap this. Stream of thought here, and this time I will replicate it. Target. Okay, so the first one. We're just going to put back a bunch of arcane spells. All right, and then the second one. Ideas, stream here stream so we have 25 cards in our deck but a lot of them are cane spells at the moment let's um um uh, cast this i guess hmm. undo five mana floating i'm actually gonna merchant scroll first i think pull up here through depths out just thin a little bit to help me hit ideas inbound. That's the game plan here. Ding. Untap. Tap again. Merchant scroll. This is so much better than ponder. Like, I feel like it's going to be really tough for me to fizzle now. Ideas inbound. Untap. There we go. All right, so now tap this again. 19 cards left, and as you'll see, I'm starting to make a lot of mana. All right, 16 cards left. We found the stream of thought. So our opponent is 44, so every mana you have is roughly the number of cards you, that you can mill with a stream. So we're almost to the point where we can win the game. Take the ideas inbound, any order. All right, ideas inbound again. Untap. All right, 12 cards left in deck. Every tap is 10 mana, as I said before. Let's peer through depths. Take the ideas, any order. Untap. Tap it again. Almost up to 44 mana. Let's ideas. This will bring me down to eight. 
untap, tap again. All right, I am not over the threshold for the amount of mana we need, but I'm just gonna cast a few more uh, spells first. So let's twiddle our land. Yes, tap. I always get a little bit nervous whenever I stream, so I like having just a couple extra mana in there. Okay. This build seems, I mean, it's only one game, so I don't want to count my chickens or anything, but this build seems good. All right, so 10 should be 44 even. Getting all that floating mana. Target them. I mean, didn't even have to loop this time. Normally you have to loop a couple times, and by loop I mean you have to put cards back in your deck until you get down to about four cards. I never actually went all the way through my deck, is what I mean here. So main deck counter spells, preordain, cast down. It's a strange build. All right, no cards back. And now we just target them with deep analysis and end the game. That's game number one over affinity. Let's look at this graveyard. Gurmag Angler, Counterspell, Bargainer's Reckoning. They're like a weird, like, hybrid between Affinity. I guess it's still very Affinity esque, but Mina Counterspell is awkward. Okay. So I could bring in Pyroblast here over some of these Twiddles because they're not, it doesn't seem like they're a super fast build. Um,. So if I did that, I'd want Pyroblast in the mountain. I'd probably just board out Twiddle effects. Which actually hurts me a little bit on the combo turn. Um, hmm. Then you could probably board out one puppetry. You only really need one. And then you probably want to board out a land. Because you're boarding up to 20. I think I'll board out an island. Let's try this. So the reason I'm boarding out island is you're not allowed to board out the forest. If you board out Ash Barrens or Evolving Wilds, you're boarding out the thing that finds the mountain. And you're not allowed to board out any of the Karoo lands. So it just makes sense to me. Here we have a pretty strong hand. I will keep this. 17 minutes on the clock. Draw. That was a good one. Um, let's just grab the mountain now. I don't care if they see it. It's fine. Okay. Let's thin our deck a little bit here. Plot that forest. Draw. Play the growth chamber. Pick up that mountain, pass the turn, and I'm just going to discard the island. We don't actually need it here. Or maybe I should have discarded the forest. Yeah, it was probably the forest. That was a rookie mistake. Okay, that was dumb. If our opponent taps out, we can slam the Dawn's Reflection on three. Thanks to the drawing this dream script. But yeah, I should have kept the island over the forest. That was just a big dumb thing. Bridge, spell bomb. Okay. Should I try to slam the? Like, if they have like a spell pierce here, I'm gonna feel dumb. All right, let's attempt to twiddle. Gonna pyroblast it. What's going on? And they do. Wow. Okay. Good deal. I'd much rather that get blasted than an Ideas Inbound. Okay. Blast for a blast. Four cards in the opponent's hand. Two blue, another Ecker Wellspring. So it looks like the coast is going to be clear this turn for Adon's Reflection. Draw. Okay, Boilerworks isn't bad. Pass. Mirror Enforcer, two blue up. Draw. That was really good. Because now we can search for Psychic Puppetry and then use Peer. 
Okay, so I'm going to cast this pop. Untap. Um, I think I just take this. All right, so now this taps for three blue. And let's attempt to ID as a mount. I'm not sure if this will resolve. And it does, wow. Okay. Um, can't quite ideas again yet. What I can do is merchant scroll for another peer. Cast peer. Okay. Take the ideas. Yes. All right, ideas inbound. Okay, so now we had another crew for another peer, but no other arcane spell. Hmm. Weird spot. Um. So I can tap this, go up to six mana, play Dawn's Reflection. All right, so... So now this land taps for six. I'm gonna unfortunately have to burn the puppetry to untap. And now we can tap this for six, and I'm able to muddle for the one of the last remaining ideas in bound. All right, so I have one more after this. Ideas, untap. Okay, tap this. I'm going to try to get tricky here and tap the spell bomb. Untap. And now they can't use spell bomb. Okay, I'm going to level up my land. Merchant scroll. Go get a peer. Peer through depths, untap. Hmm. Does Muddle Muddle gets another peer, I believe. But what I'm wondering is if it would actually be better to take the brainstorm here. Try to convert these lands. I think the answer is yes. Alright, let's brainstorm. Put back two Karoos. And now we can stream a thought ourselves. Make one rod, just in case. Stream. And I am not going to copy it. Ideas, 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 and then up here. All right, and now we can untap. Use this model. Go grab ideas inbound. God, this deck's so much fun. You probably can't tell because I'm not showing any emotions, but like I'm having a blast here because I just love solving the puzzle over and over. Um, okay, it did work. Sorry, the UI was a little weird there. I wasn't sure if I was actually using puppetry or not. Let's brainstorm. Put these two back. Tap this for a bunch of mana. Let's peer. All right, use one of the green. Gladly take a stream of thought. All right, so we have 10 mana. Um, let's brainstorm again. I think I can afford to put back the Pyroblast. Now I'm pretty sure our opponent doesn't have anything. Level up our land. Scroll. Get Muddle, and then I can transmute Muddle for ideas. Right, I'm going to target them. I don't think I really need to mill myself. I guess I can afford to copy at once. It's fine. All right, now I can select the cards to put back. Ideas, stream of thought, peer, peer, and again, peer, 
I guess I could put in Merchant Scrolls. All right, so we're up to 27 cards again. Let's cast Ideas and Mound. Beautiful. Make a bunch of mana. Let's level up our land. Merchant Scroll, go find another peer. Keep it going. Ideas inbound. Nine minutes left. Got plenty of time to win this. All right, ideas. Untap. Every time we untap our land, it makes nine mana after our arcane spell it taps for 12 mana total. All right, 19 cards left. Puppetry, splice. Level up again. 16 cards left in deck. Let's peer. Untap. Ideas. Tap it again. Opponent has 39 cards left in deck. We're pretty close to being able to win. Uh, Dream script to untap. Tap it again. Looks like we're going to get this first round. All right. Ideas. Puppetry. Untap. All right, 12 cards left. I now have 50 something mana. Let's target them with Scream. Okay, that's how we do. With eight minutes to spare. Love it. Okay. And they are decked. Let's see what they boarded in. Still have counter spells, gaff blast. It doesn't look like they actually had a whole lot to side in against us. I don't even see duress in there. All right, and now we can just target them with deep analysis. Storm 35, no big deal. We got the first match. How about that? Twiddle storming it up. I'll see you in number two. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Round two on the draw. This hand seems fine. We do need a Karoo land, but I think it's acceptable. Forest. All right, we're facing Bogles. Matchup where we need to be fast. I'm going to hold this Brainstorm until the second turn, I think. Or maybe I'll use it now. I don't know. Ooh, they're on land destruction. I was not expecting to face this when I signed up for the event. I'm going to let that go. All right, pass the turn. I haven't faced LD in this format in so long. What a nightmare matchup for this deck. Three cards in the opponent's hand. Take a draw here. All right, brainstorm. We hit the crew. That's pretty huge. Um, we can just put double scroll on top for now. Play this, pick up our island. And discard the deep. What is that? Owl bear? Oh, that card's sweet. Okay. Um, do I want the? Yeah, I think that's probably fine. All right. So I'm gonna transmute. Or actually, should I just hold up model? Is that crazy? To make sure my land doesn't get destroyed. I think that's actually the play here. Uh-oh. My time's running up. We're running out. Pack mate. 
All right, so they're attacking for four. I'll go to 16. Next turn, they're attacking for 13. I could be dead next turn. All right, let's cycle this. Grab the forest, I guess. I don't know if it really matters that much. Draw. So I know that I have one basic left on my deck. I don't know if I have a choice. I think I might just have to tap out and let them kill me. I'm dead to a lightning bolt. I can't afford to burn psychic puppetry or just sit here not doing anything. All right, so one thing I could do is just merchant scroll for twiddle, play this land pass. I think that might actually be the play. Okay, I think that's it. All right. And we'll just scroll for Twiddle. A land destruction spell still wrecks me here, but I can't beat everything. So I might as well make sure that I just don't die. They play a land, three cards, boarding party, another Altasaur, Packmate. All right, so I am dead to a lightning bolt if I don't use this twiddle. Um, but actually, I'm, I don't know why. This line doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I need the twiddle to win next turn. Did I mess this up? I feel like I did. Um, I have to take the hit here. I'm dead to bolt. I think I actually messed this up. And they have the bolt. Wait, what? They used the red mana and then didn't do anything? Okay, so I can untap here. Did they accidentally not cast their burn spell? Okay. Let's place a, uh, the puppetry. That was pretty good. Tap. Okay. Tap again. Ideas number three. Tap this. Make a whole bunch of mana. Play another Dawn's Reflection. Twiddle to untap this land. Stream of Thought myself. Ideas, 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 ideas. I'll go back in. Tap for a bunch of mana. Let's transmute muddle to go pick up one of those ideas inbound. There we go. And I have double puppetry now, but that doesn't really matter. Okay. Picked up another Dawn's Reflection. Let's merchant scroll and go grab uh, here. Cast this. Okay. Ideas. So unfortunately, I'm at three life, which means that I'm even if our opponent messed up and they did accidentally not kill me with lightning bolt, they can still kill me in their upkeep. Um, unless I figure out a way to hold open. No, I've already cast like four ideas inbound. There's no way. Never ignore me. Um, put this on here. Yeah. Okay. Ideas inbound. All right. Tap this for a bunch. Transmute. Do good ideas. Cast ideas. Tap. Level up. And let's transmute this. Grab ideas. All right, 20 cards left. Stream myself. 
Actually, I'm going to uh, cancel this. Stream you. Ideas, ideas, ideas in the other stream. Okay. Peer. Grab the ideas inbound. Yes, tap again. Ideas. All right, they have 39 cards. I should try to win this pretty quickly. Get, like, I'm getting nervous because, like, if they have the bolt, I need to win game number three or even any of these games really fast. So, 39. Uh, we can puppetry here. Yes, tap. All right, almost done. Let's cancel. I can merchant scroll instead of burning the puppetry. Just grab twiddle. Okay, tap. And this gets me over the hump. All right. Now we stream a thought. Replicate nine times. And it, it doesn't matter if I, like, have a model in hand because I have to discard my hand to the ideas anyway. Okay. It doesn't look like there's any lightning bolts in their deck. Okay, discard my hand. This is the downside of being at three. If you got it, you got it. All right, we took game number one over lane destruction. How crazy is that? Turn one thermo, turn two thermo cards. Didn't matter. We got there. Now we just have to steal uh, game number two. And they, it looks like they have eight lane destruction effects in their main deck. It's going to be tough for us, but it's technically doable. All right, so we definitely want this prohibit. I think that's it. I don't really know if I... Honestly, I don't even know if I want... It doesn't counter uh, a land destruction spell, so do I just resubmit here? I think that might actually just be the get best game plan. Okay. I think we keep this. Okay, throw an elf. Draw. I need this Ashburns to not be destroyed so that way I can play our Karoos. Okay. So now they can untap. Two mana. Wild Growth, okay. Draw. We'll play Growth Chamber, pick up the Ash Barons, and cycle the Barons. Grab an Island. Pass the turn. Uh, I think I could probably get rid of a Boiler Works here. If, I don't see this game going long enough where I can afford to play that. That's a turn three annoyed Altasaur. That's pretty scary. In the boarding party? I'm done. Rip me. Wow. I'm at 14 and they have 13 coming in next turn. All right. Well, I can play the Dawn's Reflection, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Wow. This is a really good start by the opponent. Here's the land destruction spell. There you go. All right. Next game. 0% chance I beat this draw. Wow. Okay. Um, I think I just resubmit. I actually had a decent start, too. Turn 3 uh, enchantment just wasn't fast enough. Um, is this even good? I mean, I think... I don't know. I'm gonna mulligan. Sure. Bottom of the stream. Just go grab an island. 
Okay, draw twiddle. Go get a puppetry. I need to draw into one of our Karoo lands. Arbor Elf, Arbor Elf, draw. Not it. Uh, Pier. Okay. Pass. Cycling Ash Barons. Untap, untap, four mana. Uh, not looking good. Draw. Cycle. Pass. Four cards in hand for the opponent. Boarding party, three in hand. Owlbear. So they have 12 power. Uh, and they're attacking for six, so... I could just be dead. Next turn, that is. Draw. So you're saying there's a chance. Um, trying to think here. So... Float the blue. Pick this up. If I twiddle here, and then retap, that's three. It's not good enough. Okay, so next turn, I would need another twiddle in order to win, so I'm supposed to appear here. And there's the extra twiddle I need. So if our opponent doesn't kill me and then doesn't have uh, a land destruction spell, there's a chance. 12 power on board, we're at 14. And there's the land destruction spell, so we're out. Yeah, I mean, it was a pipe dream that we were ever going to beat this deck. Um, we just got really lucky in the first game. Brutal. Yep. All right. I'm dead. One and one. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm Mini Token Pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite Stormwind condition. A Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, four treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eighth Progenitor Ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels vs. Goblins, Chatterstorm vs. Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Round three on the play, twiddle in. Sure, this seems fine. Keep... Okay, island past the turn. Forest into elf, okay. I'm gonna brainstorm. Put back two of these. In our upkeep, I'll cycle the ash barons. Hitting the crew is very good for us. Alright, grab island. Draw. Let's just play that, pick this up. Past the turn. Forest number two, three mana. Timber Watch Elf, you got it. Okay, so I'm going to accelerate into my festival here. We could just use Merchant Scroll to go get the uh, Psychic Puppetry, but I don't think that's necessary at this moment. Priest, Finhorn. So now they can pump their Finhorn and attack for five, and I'll be at 15. All right, so theoretically, I could be dead next turn. Ding dong. It looks like I took the right line. All right, ideas. Splice. 
Yes, I'd like to untap. Uh, that wasn't the best ideas in bound though. So let's merchant scroll. Go get a peer through depths. Tap this. And let's peer. Untap. Use the green. Brainstorm. These are looking a little bit dicey at the moment. Let's brainstorm. All right, that was decent. Put back two of these. And then we're actually just going to uh, burn a stream of thought here to clear those. And put some of the uh, good spells back in our deck. So ideas inbound, merchant scroll, peer, muddle. And then I can peer and look at fresh cards this time. I think I'm supposed to take the Dreams Grip. And here you'll see that Grip is going to allow me to be able to bridge Merchant Scroll into another peer. Untap. Merchant Scroll. For peer. Tap this. There's no need to double splice. I don't have two crew lands yet. Okay. Take the ideas. It's unfortunate because there's two more arcane spells in that. I think I'm actually going to shuffle here because I, I want those to be somewhere else in our deck. All right. So let's try that again. Ideas inbound. We just fizzled. That's a bummer. Um, damn. So I guess we just level up our land. Yes. Play this on here. Tap this for mana. Reflection. I mean, it's going to be tough for me to come back from this. Pass the turn. Discard my hand. All right. Walvisher. That's like Walvisher is might as well be blank text. Burian Ranger. I believe that does it. So they have seven elves in play. Timberwatch is plus seven, plus seven on Findhorn. And that is a total of 15 damage. Okay. So they found the line. Okay, so we fizzled, unfortunately. Uh, so you might be wondering, like, is this a match where you bring in Moments Peace? It can be. So you can bring in Moments Peace as double time walk over twiddle effects, but I'm on the play. So I think on the draw, I'm more likely to do that, but on the play, I just want a better combo deck, I think. So uh, I think I might just resubmit here. Yeah, I'm just going to resubmit. Game two. I don't think I'm allowed to keep that. This is better. Keep in bottom the boiler works. All right, let's just search our deck for the island. Pass. All right, thin. Draw. Welcome back. Bounce, pass. Priest. And Quarian Ranger. Draw. Yikes. Um, just Merchant Scroll, I guess. We have to draw one of our seven enchantments. I could have gotten a Brainstorm there and chose not to because in order to win this game, I need a Puppetry. So I'm just sort of saying... I'll draw one naturally because I don't have time to mess around with a brainstorm. But maybe I should have. Double Timber Watch. I'm going to be dead pretty quickly here. Lead the Stampede. I think we're just getting goldfished. I am definitely dead next turn. Um, and I don't think our hand is going to be able to do much about it. Wow. 
I'm speechless right now. Uh, elves is usually not this good. I'm not trying to say that elves is a bad deck by any means. Don't get, don't be upset at me. But the draws our opponents had makes the deck look much better than it actually is. Um, it's a fine deck, but it's not turn three you over and over good. I guess it, the turn four you over and over good. Um, but yeah, it's looked really good here. So even if we draw the four mana enchantment, I am dead. Can't do anything. I'm just dead. Not good enough. So I'm going to concede this and then let's pretend that I got brainstorm instead of this puppetry and I'll draw the top three. One, two, three. So we would have found the enchantment, but that doesn't matter because it wouldn't have been fast enough anyway. So stinks. We're one and two. It's been a tough last few matches, but honestly, hard to be upset. Um, the one was a terrible matchup. And this one, I feel like they kind of just rolled high against us. It happens. I'm going to focus on winning the next two and not worry about it. I'm loving this deck list so far. Let's see how match number four goes. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, round four, we've opened up triple stream of thought. Cannot keep. All right, this looks better. Um, I think it's actually Brainstorm. Okay. What is this? Okay. Draw. Boiler works. Cycle. Go grab that forest, pass the turn. And another station, you got it. Float mana, play boiler works, pick up the ash barons. And then we're going to cycle the ash barons. Grab the island and pass the turn. Two mana, Mog War Marshal. Okay, we hit our enchantment, which is good. Unfortunately, we can't cast till, till next turn, but that's fine. So the question is, do I want to use Muddle the Mixture here to go get uh, the Psychic Puppetry or the Merchant Scroll? And I think the answer is just the Merchant Scroll. Muddle the Mixture can get uh, ideas inbound, so I don't want to waste that. So when this is resolved, we will grab Puppetry and pass the turn. Mog War Marshal. The Village Rights, okay. Mortician Beetle. This thing's a rare. How how are you playing it in Pauper? I joke, I joke. It's been downshifted. Although it makes you feel bad for those of you, or well, I was around then too, but during Rise of the Eldrazi when you open this garbage in your rare slot. Did I say garbage? I mean very playable card. I'm sorry. Market Festival. Pass the turn. All right. So our Market Festival is finally resolved and now it's our opponent's turn. They play a mountain. Red, black. What's a body dropper? Whenever you sacrifice another creature, Put a plus one plus one counter on it. So this is just red black sacrifice. It's not goblins. Okay. Draw. Time to party. Let's peer and puppetry to untap. I really hope that our opponent uses the F6 key this turn. All right, puppetry is, or I'm sorry, peer is resolved. We'll grab ideas inbound. Any order, yes, untap. So now I can tap these, make some mana. We have seven, so now I can play this. 
and then Dawn's Reflection, and then Ideas Unbound. Untap. Beautiful. All right, tap this. Peer through depths. Untap. Okay, let's grab. Let's grab muddle. We can search up another ideas. It's what my what I'm all about. I just want to cast as many ideas as possible. In my opinion, that's the real reason to play this deck is that you just love casting ideas inbound. So if you're a fan of the modern equivalent of this deck, the modern arcane deck, you'll definitely love this deck. All right, untap, tap this. Ideas, untap. Here we go. So one, two, three. This ideas is actually number four. So I'm going to target myself with this. Stream, ideas, ideas, ideas. All right, tap. I'm going to play this growth chamber. So that way, if I draw another puppetry, I can double splice. Ideas, untap. Yes. 31 cards left. Ideas, untap. Beautiful. Tap it again. Um, let's transmute. Grab ideas. We're just brainstorming over here, right? That's another way of saying it. All right, let's add a couple green. We're going to level up our land a little bit. Okay. And another one. Twiddle. Let's brainstorm. Put back two lands. Stream of thought. Let's get rid of those lands. Actually, I'm going to copy it this time. Pop out the graveyard. Ideas, 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 stream. Ideas, stream, stream, here. All right, 23 cards in deck. Um, I can merchant scroll. You'll get a peer. Tap. I finally have double puppetry, so now I can show you what double splice looks like. So you can untap two crews. Grab this ideas inbound. Any order, yes, yes. Tap, tap. All right, ideas, and we can double splice. Yes, yes. And I'm going to slide these down. Um, sorry, normally you're supposed to want your puppetries to be near your land, so that way it's the fastest, like this. 19 minutes on clock. Untap. Yes. Tap. Untap. Tap. All right, let's brainstorm. Go back to lands. They have 48. Let's play another market festival. And we'll muddle. Grab ideas. Splice. Tap. 13 cards left in deck. They have 48 cards. Splice again. Tap, tap. Okay. So this time I'm just using the Psyche Puppetries to untap. All right, tap, tap. And this should give me enough mana where I feel safe. And now Stream of Thought. Whenever I record this deck, which isn't that frequently anymore, people are always like, but Bryant, you had it at this amount of mana. I get it, but I like feeling like I don't have to worry about it either. So deal with it.
I guess that's what my real message here is. I'm always going to add a little bit of extra just for cushion purposes. Okay. So we have about 17 minutes left on the clock, a little bit under by the time we're done resolving all this stuff. And it is just red black sacrifice. And then target them with deep analysis. All right, that's game number one. Woot woot. Should I change anything? I don't think so. I'm just going to resubmit. Also, had I realized that our elves opponent was going to just like absolutely nut draw me, I was I would have probably avoided in moments piece. Uh, but I think on the play, I really do agree with the thought process that you just want your best possible combo deck. But it just didn't work out for us. So I'm not upset over that, but I know that some of you watching this will probably be like, but Brian, you didn't board in Moments Beast versus the Beatdown deck. Yes, I'm aware, but on the play, I think that you usually race elves. It just didn't happen. Game two, we're going to keep this. We need both a Karoo and an Enchantment. Our opponent's taking a mulligan to five very, very quickly here. Swamp into Nested Shambler. Draw. Island and pass. So they're going to get in for one. Two mana. The Body Dropper. Brainstorm. Get rid of this Evolving Wilds and a Twiddle. So we found the crew. Now we just have to find the enchantment. Upkeep cycle to thin our deck, but also to shuffle those cards we don't want away. Draw. Um, let's just play the chamber here. Pick this up, and I'm going to end up discarding this Evolving Wilds. They've played a Swamp into Duress. No enchantment. Uh, I think... The card I care about most here personally is the Merchant Scroll because I want to go get another Brainstorm. And they correctly identified Merchant Scroll. Village Rights. Okay. Now they're getting in for three, and I'll go to 16. Draw. Fear through depths. Let's cast it. One has two cards. We'll take a muddle here. Play an island and pass. Carrion feeder. So they could sacrifice the squirrel here to make the body drop uh, slightly larger and they get a bigger carrion feeder. Carnarium, they have one card left. Other than the land that we know about, that is. We don't need a stream of thought here. I'm going to appear looking for a brainstorm because brainstorm can, in theory, find this market festival uh, that we just got rid of, unfortunately. All right, let's brainstorm. No market festival, but we did pick up a puppetry. Um, I don't think we're in a spot where we need this stream of thought quite yet. I'm going to get rid of a twiddle. Okay, we just have to find one of the enchantments. Still have seven left. Pass the turn. Another nested shambler. Yep. Looking like my time is going to run out pretty quickly here. Uh, so they're getting in for ten. I'm going to be at two. Come on, enchantment. I don't even know if the enchantment saves me here anymore. Um, I mean, I can like go search for another twiddle to buy time, but I don't think that actually does anything productive. Hmm. I think I'm just dead. Let's cast the merchant scroll. I just want to look at my deck. Is your last card a Pyroblast? Because then it was all truly meaningless. Um, we'll get Brainstorm. There's no miracle that exists here. 
So I could untap this twice and play the Market Festival, but then I'm tapped out. So next game. We lost in the mulligan to five. They just beat me down. I still don't think I'm supposed to board here. I think we just do our thing. On the play for game number three. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, evolving wilds, and we'll just go grab our island. Gotta save time. 13 minutes on clock. You might be thinking, Bryant, that's plenty of time. You don't need 13 minutes. Sometimes this deck really does go really close to the clock. You haven't really seen it yet, this league, but there's matches that I've won where I'm at 15, 20 seconds, and it gets kind of dicey. Draw. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to pass here, holding up the muddle from a potential discard spell. Okay, and if they don't play a discard spell, I can brainstorm plus peer through depths. Beetle. Beetle. Wait the draw. All right, brainstorm. We found the enchantment. That's really good. We don't need this puppetry or the brainstorm. I guess the puppetry is better than the brainstorm. All right, so let's untap, draw. We're gonna twiddle this, untap. So I have to pass the turn here. Play chamber, pick up, and pass the turn. If they kill me from 19, I mean, props to you. Mog War Marshal. So if this is a Carrion Feeder, each creature that they sacrifice represents three damage. It's a Village Rites, okay. So the Village Rites is resolving, they're getting their goblins, and I'm going to take six here. And now it's our time to shine. Draw. Okay. Tap this, and uh, we have double pup already, so let's go. Yes, yes. Tap, tap. Let's peer. Untap. Untap. Take the ideas. Any order? Yes, yes. Tap, tap. Blue, blue, blue. Ideas inbound. Pop, pop. Beautiful. All right, so now we have a lot of green mana. Let's play our, our island. We're not going to need another crew land. Tap this for blue. Twiddle it. Yes. Tap for blue. Let's muddle to go get another ideas. So we'll have one left in the deck after this. Whoops, cancel. Control Z. Tap this first. My bad. Puppetry, puppetry. Yes, yes. Now we can play a market festival, leveling up our land. Brainstorm. Get rid of a couple of these lands. Stream of thought ourselves so that way we can put the ideas and bomb back in. One idea, two idea, three idea, and appear. Tap this, market festival. So now this land taps for eight mana. Let's brainstorm. Put back the Ash Barons and I don't know, um, a Twiddle. Play this. Peer through depths, untap, untap. Grab Peer, 
Untap, untap. Tap these. We're definitely moving this game. 12 mana floating. Untap this, untap this. Grab that ideas inbound. Nine minutes left. Okay. Slowly making mana. Cast ideas inbound. Untap, untap. All right. We picked up another. We have about 20, 30 ish mana floating right now. I say that because you spend mana in between your actions. So. Before the ideas and untapping our lands, we had about 20, and then once we tapped them, obviously we had more. Okay, um, I'm gonna muddle to go grab another ideas. We have one more in the deck after this. 25 cards. And you'll notice here how once I get going, yes, I did have the one game that I fizzled, but I do think that mid combo, you're just way more likely to win when you have a bunch of uh, twiddles and tutors. Let's brainstorm. Put back a few of these lands. Uh, we can stream them. Copy it. All right. Ideas, ideas, stream. Ideas. Stream them. Peer. Peer. That's good enough. All right. Let's muddle. Grab ideas inbound. Keep drawing. All right. Yes, yes. Tap, tap. Seven minutes left on clock. Plenty of time. Untap. Untap. All right, we picked up another enchantment. Tap here, tap there. 20 cards left in deck. Uh, we have a bunch of twiddles in hand, so I think I'm going to burn them. By a bunch, I mean it looks like it's just one, and I thought I saw tw actual twiddles in there, and I did not. All right, so we have lethal. Uh, we just have to find the stream of thought now. No stream of thought in there, but I'll gladly take an ideas amount. You know how much I love drawing cards. No nurse set in this format. Okay, ideas, untap, untap. No stream of thought there. Tap, tap. 16 cards. Here. Okay. There it is. That's all she wrote. Stream you. They have 40 cards left in deck, so we need to copy this nine times. 25 storm, no big deal. I think the real reason to play Weather the Storm in your sideboard is that way your deck gets the storm counter, and you can see how much storm you've actually used. Okay, clicking as fast as I can. Okay. And then deep analysis here. Casual 32 mana floating. No big deal. Two and two. One round left to go. Let's get our money back. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, final match, Twiddle Storm on the play. Yeah, for sure, keep. We do need to find a crew land, but I think this hand's really good. All right, so we're just going to play Evolving Wilds, grab an island, and pass the turn. Pass. 
mountain. Is this an older build of Mogwarts or the Goblin combo deck? All right, so I'm going to play Ash Barons here. And then I'm going to use Merchant Scroll to go get Brainstorm, and hopefully that can help us. We have seven crew effects I'd like to brainstorm into. All right, Synthesizer. All right, Mog War Marshal. Did they miss lane two? Maybe. Nope, they had it. Okay. Adolta Rebirth. All right, so this is actually just goblins. It's not a goblin combo. Green source. So let's see if we can find that land that taps for two mana. Brainstorm. No dice. Um, you can always do it the hard way. Build our own land. Let's get rid of the stream of thought and the muddle. Cycle the Sash Barons. Grab Island. Play Island. Next turn I can play Forest and then just enchant a land with uh, the Dawn's Reflection. So we can build a land that way. Goblin Bushwhacker. Yikes, am I dead? Getting in for 10. I'm going to go to 9. All right. I'm at four. They have lethal on board, and I cannot win the game. Uh, that stinks. So I can Psychic Pepper Tree to untap something, but it's just not going to be good enough. I'm not going to be able to get ahead to win this. Yeah, not finding the line that taps for two mana uh, got me here. But this deck seems pretty sweet. There's like Mono Red Goblin Blitz. I am interested in Weather of the Storm. Probably get rid of the Deep Analysis. And I think I want the Twiddles against the deck that I need to be fast against. So I don't really want to board out Twiddle. Um, but maybe that's fine if I have Weathers? I'm not sure. i also try like skimming on some of the Tutor effects. So like go down to 3 and 3. Let's try that. All right, time to bounce back, game number two. Great hand, keep. We already have the Simmoth Growth Chamber. What could go wrong? Like not finding the four mana enchantment, but we're gonna pretend that we're going to, don't worry about it. Island, pass. Mountain. Raider, all right, brainstorm. Beautiful. All right, bottom the weather, bottom brainstorm. Actually, I think I'll take the Brainstorm draw here. Growth Chamber, pick up the Brainstorm. Or, I'm sorry, pick up the Island. Then cycle the Ash Barons, because I don't think we want the Weather of the Storm. Pass. We have seven Twiddles in our deck. Ideally, I would draw one of them next turn, so that way I can play the Market Festival. Synthesizer, they reveal mountain. They've already played their land, so they can't play that. Slutter. And we'll take one from the Mog Raider. Ouch. Draw. All right, we didn't draw a total effect, so we'll have to wait till next turn. Cast Brainstorm. Put back the Ash Barons and tree number two. And then we can merchant scroll for a twiddle. Pass the turn. You might be wondering, Bryant, why don't you get Dream Script? And the answer is because it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, unfortunately. So yes, you can entwine Dream Script. Theoretically, it's free to get that. But there's so many, there's so few board states right now where that's actually like something that, you know, I care about. So they reveal the goblin grenade here. So if this is a kick to bushwhacker, our life total is pretty low. All right, so I'm gonna go to 17. 
They still have this goblin grenade that would put me to 12. I'm at 12. They have three cards. Okay. Um, so I could hold open weather here, or I could... So I can play Evolving Wilds and then next turn weather. Um, but the next turn line doesn't actually work either. I would need another twiddle for that to be efficient. Right now they have four damage on board, which puts me to eight. So I'm dead to a Bushwhacker plus Burn Spell or Goblin Grenade plus Lightning Bolt. I think I'm just supposed to play the uh, the festival. If they kill me, they kill me. All right, no instant burn spell. Goblin Slutter. So they're getting in for four, and I'll go to eight, unless they decide to sacrifice the Slutter to pump. I'm at eight. Three cards left in hand. And they're passing. All right. So Muddle is good because it protects me if our opponent happens to have like Red Elemental Blast in hand. Let's twiddle this. All right. Tap. And we're going to Splay Psychic Puppetry on two Ideas Inbound. Triple Land. Nice. All right. Let's try that again. Ideas, play psychic puppetry. And that resolves. Okay, so I'm going to Merchant Scroll. Go get a peer. I'm gonna cast peer. So I could have muddled the mixture for another ideas. But I can't figure out why they're pausing for so long on everything, and I don't want to get rid of the counter spell if I don't have to. Pick up an ideas, take that. Untap. Tap again. Ideas. Okay. So I have to commit the idea or the muddle at this point i don't really have a choice so we'll tap this and transmute go grab the ideas inbound and we will splice that that resolved Tap this for mana. Untap it. Brainstorm. Put back two lands. Level up our land here. Whoops, cancel. Undo. Good mana floating, come on. Uh, stream of thought myself here. No copy. All right, and that resolves. So we'll grab ideas, 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 and ideas. So four of those in our deck now. Let's tap this. And we will cast Peer, Splicing Psychic Puppetry. Leave the green floating. Big brainstorm. All right, cast the Brainstorm. Holy, convert some more of these lands. Sort of. All right, let's cycle this. Shuffle. Okay. Tap. Ideas. Splice. Okay, 23 cards left. I'm going to target them. And I'll copy it. I realize I could target myself here. There's probably some of you watching going like, yes, you should absolutely be doing that. I don't think it matters all that much. 
we're down to the point where there's 23 cards on our deck like yeah you slightly increase your chances but i just want to get the show going here we're already down a game all right so target them oh it's actually for three my bad i thought it was only for two whoops ideas peer stream peer okay they are a fire blast deck which makes sense and i'm not going to copy the last one or put anything back with the last one i mean tap this for a bunch of mana twiddle They randomly decided to counter a twiddle. You got it. All right. So let's transmute. Ideas inbound. Splice. Untap. All right. Pretty good. Tap this. Play another market festival. Let's untap. Why not? Tap it again. Ideas. Okay, tap. One has 35 cards left in deck. Ideas inbound. Untap. Merchant scroll. Scrub peer. Tap this. Peer, untap. Grab another peer. Any order, untap. Tap it again. All we have to do at this point is find a stream of thought and we've got this game. Peer through depths, untap. There it is. Any order, yes. Okay, tap it again. They have 35. Untap this. Tap it. Untap. Tap it again. Untap. All right. Stream of thought, you. We have 35. Nine will get the job done. And we're just targeting them for a whole bunch here. Okay, no point in selecting cards. It's just wasted time. Okay, so they've been decked. Cast Weather the Storm. So we're gaining roughly a million life here. In response to this, I'll weather the storm. In response to this, I'll weather the storm. Hit the F6 key. Now that's life. <laughs> no big deal. No big deal. Just waiting on our opponent. All right. Casual 296 life. Okay. And discard. One more game left to go. Will we get our dollars back? I hope so. Just going to resubmit. All right. Game three. We've opened up an Ash Barrens, but no other land. I think we just have to mulligan. Good hand. All right. So we're going to keep this and bottom the stream of thought. Mountain and the Mog Raider draw. Just play that and pass. Opponent getting in with the Mog Raider. 19. Slutter into Slutter. You got it. Draw. We're just going to play the Simic Growth Chamber here past the turn. Three cards in hand for the opponent. 
Here's a red mana. Kidaltha Rebirth. Six power on the board. Two cards in hand. If this is Bushwhacker, it's a lot of damage. And it is, in fact, a Bushwhacker. I'm in trouble. This is 14 damage coming in. All right. I'm at four. My opponent has one card in hand. Draw. Let's brainstorm. See what I can hit here. Okay. Um, nothing too good. I can weather to buy a little bit of time. And gain six. I mean, I'm up to 11. I'm still dead if their last card is a Goblin Grenade. And honestly, it might just be dead anyway next turn. I don't think I have enough resources to go off. Okay. So I'm going to take six here. That puts me to five. I know that my top card is a tap land. It looks like it's grenade and I'm dead. Yikes. Turn four on the play. Too good. Too good. So I finished this league two and three, which obviously isn't the world's best record. I'm not going to try to pretend that that's fine. Uh, that said, the main deck felt really, really good. Uh, I don't really have any complaints about the main deck. You might have some complaints, but I don't. Let me know what you think. If anything, I think it's the cyborg that could probably use some tuning here. Was three weather enough? Should this be four? Do we actually need blink of an eye? I still don't think I was supposed to board a moment's piece on the play versus the elf deck, but you're welcome to disagree with me there. Let me know your thoughts. I'm certainly interested in hearing those. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And as always, keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.